Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Tamil Nadu on Thursday reported the highest spike in COVID-19 cases with 827 new cases reported. After Maharashtra, it has the highest number of cases in India, while Chennai accounts for more than 65% of the cases in the state. I am in Chennai's Royapuram area which had one of the largest number of COVID-19 cases and right now we are at East Kal Mandapam Road where in the middle of this bustling street where fruit, uh, daily essentials for the house are being sold right in this middle of this narrow street shortly moments before a man and his son were taken to the hospital because they tested positive for COVID-19. An official from the Chennai Corporation Commission told us that this this area will not be sealed and will not be labelled a containment zone and instead only that man's house will have a sticker from it from the office. We have given strict instructions to the medical stores and private hospitals not to attend any patient with cold, cough and fever symptoms. The patient should be asked to go to a government hospital for checkup. And if the test comes positive, the person will be picked from his home and the house will be marked with a corona warning sticker. We also went to Triplicane, where around the bustling roads, one lane was relatively less crowded. Uh, Tamil Nadu recorded uh, 817 cases on the 27th of May and it has more than 400 containment zones. Among these containment zones is the police staff quarters here. Uh, at the other side of this narrow lane is a busy and bustling street with people selling fish and markets open while this narrow lane is secluded as these staff quarters have been declared a containment zone. The first case of COVID-19 here was in a traffic constable who tested positive for coronavirus just shortly after the lockdown was announced at the end of March. And since then, this, these staff quarters have recorded nine COVID-19 cases, out of which four policemen have tested positive. I have been living in the place for the past five years. It was labelled a containment zone since the start of the lockdown. I still go for duty despite the area being a containment zone. I am scared for my family but we are taking all precautions. As relaxation in the lockdown come, the number of containment zones in Chennai have also reduced. Health Secretary for Tamil Nadu government explained the procedure of marking an area as a containment zone. So first when we detected cases, in fact Tamil Nadu, we didn't even wait for clusters. Even for individual cases, we started making containment plans because it's a very contagious disease. So the initially the containment plans we made was also during the lockdown phase. So we had the advantage of that. And so it was based on a, a kilometer radius, like five kilometers radius was taken as the containment zone along with the buffer zone of around two to three kilometers depending on the topography. But now that we have to balance the economy and life and we have success fully contained. During that phase, we contained a, a couple of clusters very well. Now we need to slowly reduce the clusters. Now people have also gotten sensitized. So now the containment plan is to make it more individual based. So if one case comes up and the, that person in their house, if they do a proper isolation and a home quarantine, then that itself breaks the chain and the disease ends with that one family. As long as we were in lockdown, it was still easier for us to uh, ensure that people don't move around and it was limited uh, cases and easier to do the testing. Now as the lock lockdown is slowly lifting in phases and we are getting more and more passengers. So if you see yesterday alone from other states itself we had 138 from Maharashtra and one from Kerala who tested positive. Even in the districts if you see the present surge is mostly because of travel related and because of other people coming into the state. So therefore we haven't reached uh, community transmission in Tamil Nadu? I think the challenge is to ensure that it doesn't happen and I like, like I said we are doing whatever is required to ensure that it it doesn't happen. However, the opposition party, the DMK, thinks that there is no question that Tamil Nadu reached community transmission phase a long time back. I don't think there's any question we've reached community transmission a long time ago. The reason uh, for this is by and large absolute uh, poor governance and sheer criminal negligence of what should have been standard and established medical and public health practices by the government of Tamil Nadu. 
He further attributes the high number of cases in Tamil Nadu to the Coimbedu cluster where there was panic buying in one of Asia's largest wholesale markets and also when the state government reopened the liquor shops which resulted in total breakdown of social distancing norms. The government started their entire testing regime very late as you know the government had ordered a uh, uh, 50000 testing kits from a company in china subsequently the delhi high court found that there was uh, problems within this order and even within the testing kits so now all these testing kits had to be returned back commissioner of the chennai corporation which has been at the forefront of tackling corona virus in chennai however says that the highest number of testing is taking place in the capital city chennai which has the maximum number of covid-19 cases in the state we are doing the highest number of tests in the entire country and i am sure uh, you are already aware of it and as we speak we have reached around uh, 15500 tests per million and uh, we are the highest in the country definitely and we are the highest among all the metropolitan states we are intensively going for contact tracing and we are intensively catching uh, the persons who might have got infected test them and as and when we test them we come to know about whether they are positive or negative and if they are positive we take for uh, treatment under various uh, you know methods and that is another issue this will become a holistic success only if the public cooperation the common man's cooperation comes in handy in terms of two things one is the wearing of this mask and second issue is about the social distance as the number of cases continue to rise one has to see if all the safety protocols from testing tracing quarantining and surveilling will prevent the spread of covid-19 in tamil nadu with manisha mondal this is revdeep krishnan for the print reporting from chennai